everyone, this is Karen Lee, and today I want to share with you how I'm doing <laughs> during this COVID-19 lockdown. So I am doing okay. Um, I'm not sick. My family's not sick. My daughter's not sick. We're all healthy. Um, so in that sense, I'm doing great. But I, as you know, I've been working from home for the last maybe week and a half, two weeks. And that's going okay. But I just find that when you're working from home and then you don't have the other avenues of social, socialization, so you can't go to a restaurant, you can't take a kid to the park, you can't go hang out with your friends, so you're just working from home and then all of these ways to interact with people are also taken away. That makes it much harder. Um, but I'm coping with it. I think I'm doing it, doing it probably better than most right now. I'm doing a good job of that. I do struggle with my daughter though. Working from home with a five-year-old is rough because she wants to play with me and she's the most amazing kid. Y'all, she is great. Like, I can put her in her room, give her a tablet. I can have some activities set up for her. She'll just do them on her own. She's really, really good. Like, she makes me really proud. But there's a time when she just want to talk to me, you know, and I'm on a call. Like, the other day I was giving a presentation to a global team. Um, these are people everywhere in the world. And they understand because in some parts of the world, people are still working from home. In other parts, they're not. So, <laughs> she, I was presenting. And she came right into the room. <laughs> it wasn't a video presentation, it was just audio. But I luckily I was able to click mute <laughs> in time. And then she asked me her question and I get back to my call. But obviously I was distracted and I didn't hear the question. I had to ask him to repeat. So it got kind of weird, but I, I recovered quickly. Um, those are the things that happen when you have a young child and you're working from home. Um, so, I mean, everybody's understanding because we're all going through this together. This is not like a me situation. Everybody in the world is kind of facing this work from home challenge right now. If your company is able to, to do that. So people are understanding. It's hard on a kid to, to be isolated though. Like we have neighbors who have young kids. So they're all within our age group, but you know, they already have each other to play with. And so she was looking through the window one day and she's looking out there and seeing them playing and she's like, oh, I want to go. And she starts crying. It, it broke me, you know, it, that broke me a little bit because I want her to, to interact with kids. So, you know, it's hard when your kid wants to play with other kids and they can hear the screams, they can hear the fun happening and they can't be a part of it. You know, that, that was tough. So that's the toughest thing so far for me is to watch my child go through that and not being able to, to have that kind of companionship. You know, everybody has to protect their family. Nobody wants to like interact with people unless they have to. And so it's challenging. So that's a big challenge there. But you know, in Atlanta, as you know, Atlanta does have cases of COVID-19. We have had deaths. I'm not sure what the count is, but we've had people die, especially in my county. So it's right here where I live, but obviously, you know, I'm, I'm good. My daughter is good. My family is good, but stores are open. Some of them, like stores are not being told to close. You know, you can still go to the store and find things. You can go to the pharmacy, there's Walmart. But I have found that some stores have clothes that are not essential. Like I went to Bath and Body Works to get some stuff for my house. Like I like the wallflowers, the things that give you the house, the fragrance, I love those things. And I went there and it was, one day it was open, the next day it was closed. And I was like, okay. And then all the mall, all the stores in the strip mall that's closest to me, one by one, they all closed. So, it's not that they're forced to close, but nobody's coming out. Like you can go to Atlanta and you have no traffic right now. There is no traffic in Atlanta, which is surprising because Atlanta is known for the traffic that we have. So everybody's staying home. Everybody's doing what they have to do to protect themselves, their families, whether they have a symptom or not. People are being very responsive and very responsible. And I'm actually admiring that. That's pretty cool. And I'm trying to do that myself. Although I have taken my daughter outside to ride her bike. And I love gardening, so I've been in my own yard, you know, getting my garden ready because now it's spring and I want to make sure I have my plants planted and summertime I'm going to have beautiful blooms, stuff like that. So I have to get out, like I can't just be cooped up in the house, I got to get out. But I'm limiting how much exposure I give myself and my kid 
and just to make sure everybody does what's best for everybody else you know that's that's really important so yeah how i'm doing doing okay i really hope that this this thing doesn't last too much longer i think we probably have a couple more weeks of it it could get longer than that but i think after a couple more weeks everybody's gonna get restless and we're gonna have to find some other solution than stay cooped up in your house the whole time like we're gonna have to find something but for now we're writing it out. I think it might get worse before it gets better, but I'm hopeful that we'll find some solution that will put us closer back to how our lives were, not just, not, not long ago. So doing okay. Wanted to give you guys this update and I hope that you guys are fine too. You know, we're all going to get through this and this is going to be good for some people. Like People who haven't seen each other, the fact that we are separated from each other, I think families probably will rekindle, friendships will rekindle when this is all over because now they want to get back together. I think you're going to have a very long waiting list to get into any restaurant when this is done. I mean, flights are going to come back. People are going to want to go everywhere. Like, I'm itching to go to the beach right now because that's, you know, I'm Jamaican. I love the beach. I want to go. So as soon as this is over, you know... <laughs> And I think a lot of people have that mindset. So we're all going to do fun things again at some point. Just it's so hard to think about that right now because we're all together in this thing. But I think it's going to be good at the end if we can come back together and we can help each other and relationships can be rekindled and friendships and family and stuff like that because we have not had the opportunity to do that right now. So separation can be good, you know. Looking at the bright side, people. The bright side. So anyway, um, just wanted to give you that update. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.